This season, as a special project, we will be celebrating Christmas with five other Filipino UK nurse influencers to tell you what it is like to have Christmas here in the UK. Mopay na aga maayong buntag and good morning everyone. My name is Rana Rose from my self-named channel Rana Rose and I basically vlog anything under the sun, life, challenges but nowadays I vlog mostly about nursing in the UK. So if my you want to Charwin and I'm Pinoy nurse here in the UK. If you want to see videos regarding nursing here in the UK, please go ahead and visit my channel on YouTube Charwin Belisario. Once again, my name is Darren, I'm a Filipino nurse in the UK and I also make YouTube videos. I make videos about living abroad, um, nursing related content and anything in between. Hi, my name is Manu George. I'm a Filipino UK nurse. Hello everyone, my name is Vaughn. I'm a nurse here in the UK and let's talk about Christmas. So what's the difference of celebration of Christmas here in the UK compared in the Philippines? For me, the language of Christmas is universally the same. Last year for me, uh, Christmas here in the UK, I didn't feel, I didn't even feel it. You know, I was, I was at work. I think British and Filipinos celebrate Christmas pretty similar. They are more expressive on giving Christmas cards and Christmas presents. It's, it's so hard to explain this, but yeah, it is different. <laughs> I like it in the Philippines much better, way better. If if you are um if you are a first time OFW and then this is your first Christmas, medyo nakakamis yung ingay lang ng Pilipinas during Christmas. Uh, the caroling, uh, the fireworks, oh the fireworks, I love the fireworks. Video ke naririnig mo na, na amoy mo na ang mga inihaw, ang barbecue sa labas maraming batang naglalaro, may caroling kang naririnig. I think the massive difference is that Filipinos tend to celebrate Christmas a little bit longer than the Brits. In the Philippines, we have what we call the Burr Months. We usually put up decorations by September or October and that's why every time, every time I watch YouTube vloggers experience or celebrate Christmas in the Philippines for the first time, they emphasize that they feel like they're celebrating Christmas for three months or four months because Christmas decorations are put up in the Philippines quite early. But in the Philippines, Christmas carols start playing on the 1st of September. If you do that here in the UK, people will be very confused. That the British people put up decorations around mid-November or first week of December. The UK, usually the majority of the Europeans or the Brits, they usually celebrate uh, Christmas Eve or the 25th the night of the 25th while um, us Filipinos we usually celebrate it on the night 12 midnight of the 24th and Filipinos are known to be sociable it's as well during Christmas a lot of relatives like get together uh, we're not the most practical ones but it's just how it is I think culturally that's how we are known for which is a good thing to be honest um, although they do it here in, in the UK as well it's more like uh, dinner the families are inside their homes they dine in together they have their this cozy um, Christmas dinners they're more balanced because they, they respect people's um, time for the family and things like that usually us Filipinos we give our gifts on the Noche Buena or the midnight of the 24th here in the UK they do the Boxing Day or they they have the Boxing Day in which they also give their gifts on that particular day who do I who do I miss most, most during Christmas. Christmas well my family of course um, my family structure is a bit uncommon because everyone works abroad. My dad works abroad and my brother works abroad as well. And obviously me, I live here in the UK now. Um, I'm like, I'm thousand and thousand miles away from them. So finding that intimate time with them is actually a challenge for everyone. But obviously it's something that we have to put an effort in because at the end of the day, uh, your family is still the most important people uh, in your life. 
So in, in the next two weeks or so, that's actually my priority and spending time with them is, is super important and so valuable. So definitely spending time is not negotiable. Of course, my friends and family in the Philippines, most especially my dad, my mom, mama, papa, my brother Ryan, and my sister Mimi. I really miss them a lot. I wish I would uh, be given the chance to celebrate Christmas with them again. I mean, it's still different when you're celebrating it here. Although I have friends and family here as well in the UK, I have Mark, I have his family. It will still be different if I get to celebrate again with my very own family in the Philippines. Although also, I do see them through the help of technology. I do see how they celebrate using the phone, doing video chats. It's still different. It's still different and that's why I would like to tell everyone that when you're with your family, make most of your time. Enjoy the time that you spend with them because you'll never know or you can never tell what will happen next, when will be the next time that you'll actually get to celebrate something so important with them. Speak of <laughs> well, anyways, kidding aside, um, for someone like me who's been uh, away from home for quite a while, um, who do I miss the most during Christmas? It has to be, of course, my family. Um, it's just me and my wife here in the UK, and we've been here for more than a year now. We haven't been to the Philippines, we haven't been back to the Philippines since then, since we came here. Um, so it would be nice uh, to um, go back home, maybe, because uh, it's it's our loved ones. It's our family. Share a secret with you. I'm actually a mama's boy. I miss my mother most. But what can we do? All of us grow up. We fly the nest, uh, and sometimes we make the most of out out of the memories that you've kept during Christmases. So yes, I still remember my Christmas, uh, my Christmases as a boy with my mother, and sometimes it's her that I miss most. That's too cliche because everyone na napapalayo sa family, they would really miss their family. For me, this Christmas, I really miss the most. Ano ba? Yung yung time na kasama ko yung pamilya ko, na nakamis yung luto ng nanay mo. Nakamis yung luto ni Mama. Um, she's she's not a chef, but I think her spaghetti, Pinoy, Pinoy style spaghetti, for me, that's the most um, pinakamasarap na spaghetti in the whole wild, wide world. But when you already celebrated Christmas, like four years without them, it made you realize that these four Christmas um, celebrations that passed, without them these are the days na parang you wish sana nandun sila that is christmas for us please follow us in our website at filipinoukmerses.com where you can see other videos of our other friends here in the uk so whether you're with your family and friends at home or anywhere else nice whether you're on shift right now at work i just want to say have a very merry 